Good morning, guys. Today is April 8. Um, it is eclipse today. I'm in Colorado. It's supposed to start at 11. Today's like 9 a.m. So I am working on this vest that I'm thinking is going to go like this. And then on the back, I want it to be open so you can see my tattoo. Um, so let's just keep going working on this vest throughout the day. If this vest turns out really good and I love it, I'm going to record a tutorial overhead so you guys can also make one for yourself because I love doing that for you guys. So let's keep going. Let's go get some coffee and um, take this with us throughout the day. Um, I'm going to drink some coffee and then I'm going to take Nolan, my little guy, to the library and bring my crocheting with me. So he has something to do because all the other kids are in school and we did not get on the school list. So sadly, so I got to take him to parks and libraries, which is, I feel like, more fun. <laughs> so let's go. Stupid design that I made for it. <laughs> something like this. We'll see. Made some Death Wish coffee. Um, so I should have some energy today, all day, hopefully. <laughs> We're going to have fun. Papa. Yeah. Outfit. Check. Looking sick. Let's go. I made it to the library. That's like Nolan's favorite truck right there. He loves the recycling truck. There's like a little slide right there. And there's actually another section for a little bit older kids and they have even a bigger slide to like almost the ceiling. Pretty cool. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> I want some books to take home and read. So I'm super excited. It is 10 minutes till uh, the eclipse. So I am making popcorn. I'm gonna take my tripod outside and just put my phone on there and then just like time lapse the eclipse and see if my phone gets it. I just asked Google when the solar eclipse for Colorado is and they said 11.30, between 11.30 and 1 p.m. So uh, 12.30 being like the most that it's gonna cover, which is just half. So I guess I put the time lapse too long or too soon. So we'll come back to it. While crocheting, I'm listening to this really good audiobook. It's called Educated, I'll put it right here. Um, it's very intense, but it's really good like it's very well written and i very much uh, recommend it i really like it a lot um it is very intense so we're going through the eyes of tara is the main character and she's a young girl and you kind of see her grow up in this household where um they are mormons um and they um uh, the parents don't enroll kids in school and they don't even get birth certificates until they're nine year old um you kind of see her going through her life and just like her dad's working like construction work at home but the kids have to help him and like it's very dangerous environment for them and then she ends up going actually to college she doesn't go to high school she passes her acts uh, i'm not gonna say more about that and she goes to college and so we're kind of looking through her eyes again um her at school and then like learning stuff at school and then still coming back home and having really rough relationship with one of her brothers um sean um who's literally crazy and then uh, it's intense the way it's like when you listen to it it's so it's just intense because of all the things you picture uh, all the scenes that you have in your head um i don't know if the eclipse but i'm just like being dumb right now maybe i just didn't sleep enough but anyway so i'm just gonna continue listening to that and continue crocheting i'll update you guys how far we get um again i measured my bust in my book so hopefully we'll finish the best today i really want to so i can post it tomorrow and then if you guys like it I'll film a tutorial for you guys. So let's keep going. OK, 
it's 12 17 i'm running outside because it's getting dark so i'm gonna put you on a tripod and let's um time lapse <laughs> clips <laughs> i'm not sure if it caught anything but i'll find out in a sec so i just recorded a little reel i'll post it right here and i'm not gonna measure anything i'm just gonna go with instinct and hope it turns out well it usually does <laughs> So I am running out of this yarn, which I was very worried because I don't have that much of the yarn. So I'm gonna go dig through my yarn stash and see if I can find more. And that is actually why I did this color every, like, you know, every two rows because I wanted to use less of this yarn. So let's go to my stash real quick and try to find this hobby yarn. Oh, I did find the other skein. So this is my last one. It's barely any and we're still working on the front. So I think the back is gonna be different color instead of this blue. I have this color, like so much of it, but I don't know, does it go together? I guess it kind of goes together. So that definitely is like safe, uh, but maybe I'll do a different color for the back. Like I need to look up some colors that go with orange besides blue. All right guys, it's 141 and I think I'm gonna keep the square 14 inches. And then I'm going to add two inches on each side and then do the top. Um, so let's try it and hope it goes well. <laughs> Nolan just woke up. So we are making some pizza. Here's the pizza dough cooking. Are you helping mama? Are you helping? Oh, wow, wow. It's going around, yeah. Fun. Really? Yeah. I got that. the right shoulder so i really like the link right here we're also going to add like layers on the like two inches on each side for the back for the sides and then i think i do like where it is and i'm also going to add ribbing for the front so let's work on the other side and then we'll start the back yay i don't know what's going on Let's put it in the oven and see how it turns out. I hope it turns out good. Nah, not bad at all. Oh. Loves pepperoni. He'll pick out the pepperoni. <laughs> Eat the whole pizza, buddy. It's hot. Careful. Soup. Say hi. Say meow. Mwah. Meow. <laughs> Dude. It's 6 17 and Nolan, we just got back inside. We kind of went outside to play with neighbors, and um, Nolan's jumping on the trampoline. I put like a fun video that I found on YouTube where he can jump with kids on, uh, on TV, so it's really fun. So he's been doing that. So, <laughs> so um, let's clean up the kitchen and then put him to bed soon and then go to work. Update, it is 7.30, um, so I'm gonna put Nolan to bed and then probably just work on the second back piece tomorrow, attach it, do some ribbing, and we're done. I really like how it's turning out, so let's stay tuned for tomorrow. Do like a little. I really like it, it looks good. I could have probably made this longer, but if I block it, it'll like, you know, go down. So it'll be good. So let's work on it tomorrow. I don't know if I'm gonna use the same color. This is how much I have left of this color. Maybe I can find more, but I don't think I have any more. So we'll see, we'll find out tomorrow.